What's up, guys? We got more wrestling otaku nonsense to talk about. So, after my video yesterday, laughing at him for his stupid feud, he posts this video, just making himself look so much better. But instead of actually talking about the content of this video, I think I'd rather talk about his appearance. Because wrestling otaku, someone who takes himself so seriously and thinks he's such a fucking cool guy, looks like a complete fucking goofball. Now, I wouldn't normally just attack someone for their looks, but wrestling otaku is a special case because he will attack the way anyone looks. He will make fun of people for looking, quote, gay, or not looking how he thinks looks tough enough, but he walks around looking like a complete fool. So instead of me just describing it, why don't I just have a nice little slideshow of the best images of wrestling otaku. So that is what Wrestling Otaku deems the personification of excellence. Can you guys see it? Of course, there's more than just physical appearances. There's how you appear to other people. And one thing that Wrestling Otaku appears to other people is a giant, giant virgin because of how he acts. And he absolutely hates it when people accurately point that out and he'll go back to his usual bag of tricks of calling them obsessed with another man and they're just gay. But if you need some proof of whether he's a virgin or not, I'd like you to listen to how he talks about having sex. Me and her, we're gonna get better acquainted. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm gonna, I plan on laying it on her. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing some adult stuff here today on a Sunday, so <laughs> just letting you guys know in advance, the next time you see me, boy, I'll be much more relaxed than I am right now. <laughs> so you tell me, do you think the person talking just then has ever had sex with anyone in their entire life? Or do you think that person was making up a stupid story, thinking they were going to trick people who were stupider than them, but anyone with half a fucking brain can realize he's just a fucking virgin making up some shit? But, of course, there's one last type of appearance I'd like to talk about, and that's his appearance of popularity. Because, as you know, Wrestling Otaku has paid for a lot of his subs, and his numbers on his views show exactly that. For your channel to have 3,000 subscribers and you barely can pull in 100 views after several days, it means that you paid for your subs. Or you have a lot of subscribers who hate you and only want to watch you when you make a lol cow fool of yourself. I don't know which is better, but I'm pretty sure you just paid for your subs. And the sad part is, if you jump on over to his PAR Returns account, he did that there too. I wasn't sure he did at first, because I thought maybe he had gotten a couple hundred subscribers just based on, you know, actually making content. But then I saw this. The only possible way you could have several hundred subscribers and only get one view, which by the way, we know the one view was Wrestling Otaku himself, and only get one view is if you paid for all of your subs because you cannot have a channel that you make up yourself. You have to buy subs to make people think that you're more popular than you are. Because that's what Wrestling Otaku is. He is a giant phony who tries everything he does to create a fake image of being cool, being popular, being a tough guy, when he is none of those things. And he's a virgin on top of it. So, Wrestling Otaku, 
you should try your best to not be a complete fake loser and maybe you'll be a better person for it. But thanks for watching guys. Have a good night.